What are ArtNet and SACM? Hi, I'm David Henry from LearnStagelighting.com. DMX can send up to 512 channels of data down a single cable. So, what's a person to do when you need more than 512 channels out of your lighting? More cables. As technology moves forward, there becomes more and more the need to send large amount of DMX channels down cable, with some fixtures using 400 or more channels just for a single fixture. This can make data distribution a nightmare, not to mention costly. That's why some really smart people tackled this problem, allowing us to be able to send DMX over Ethernet. This video has been created as a brief overview of the topic. There are a lot of details that I leave out, keeping only the basics that you need to know as an introduction to this topic. So, how does DMX over Ethernet work? At the time of this video, DMX can be sent through Ethernet through two different main protocols, ArtNet and SACN. ArtNet was developed by Artistic License to solve the 512 channel limit that DMX has. It allows you to send 32,768 universes of DMX data down a single network cable. The upside? ArtNet is supported by more gear and is an older protocol. SACN stands for Streaming Architecture of Control Networks and is also known as E1.31 and was developed by ESTA, the Entertainment Services and Technology Association. SACN allows you to run 63,999 universes of DMX data down a single network cable. Now, if you're just starting with lighting, it's worth noting that you're not going to go close to the limit of 32,000 or 63,000 uh, that either of these protocols has. And both protocols are tested, solid ways to send DMX over Ethernet. At the time of this recording, SACN seems to be becoming more popular, but time will tell us who wins. Both protocols use nodes to output standard DMX to your lighting. These nodes are all on the same network as your console and can be reconfigured to put out different DMX universes, and multiple nodes can output, output the same universe. Some fixtures are the node and can take in DMX over Ethernet natively, even outputting DMX to other fixtures. No longer do large DMX systems require massive, thick bundles of DMX cable. The future is here, and if it hasn't come to your lighting rig yet, it will soon. If you enjoyed this video, come check out some of my other videos here on YouTube, and be sure to hop on over to LearnStageLighting.com to grab your free guide to beginning with lighting. I'll see you guys there. Thanks.